And we're live. Okay. We are in the not enormous clock tower. Actually, I don't think we're there right now. Oh, yeah, hey. Whoa. Got some kind of... Is that like a mage knight? Uh, this is um, Ian the Third. Ah. So I have a third yeah. guy. I'm taking him down the left side path. Okay, okay. And so there's a golem on the right, but on the left he's a speed male. I see. More agility based. I see. Than the sort of health based. Um, I forget which direction I was heading there. Probably axe again. Because this game doesn't want you to use the spear, apparently. Um... What else do I have in my deck? Navi, Tattle... Hey, yeah, alright. So yeah, we last left off, you had just gotten the mage-type devil and entered the Elmlaus Tower. Yes, the not enormous clock tower. Machine tower? Machine tower, I think. Machine tower. tower. So we're gonna head back there. Uh, I believe Cordova Center is gonna get you the closest to it, because that's like on the. Wait, wait, did I? I think I did something. Did you register a save there? Presumably. Did I actually? Where am I? Yeah! I did the thing that you're supposed to do in this game. Yay! Okay. Uh, so let's just continue on for now. Yeah. As if nothing totally is wrong. Kind of the one path. And here we meet a new enemy. They're undead lords. You can tell they're lords because they have the same morning star I don't die to do. Morning stern. That's how it It's been a while. Yeah, it's been like a couple of weeks. Yeah. Right now. continuing the tradition of uh, towers with just eternally turning gears that have no real functional purpose. Yep. It's an important aesthetic choice. I guess vampires just sometimes need to see continual motion so that they don't lose track of time? Yeah, I mean, they're immortal, and, uh, I guess that they don't perceive time the way normal people do, I guess, maybe? What is this? This is some kind of elevator. So here's something with an actual purpose. Oh, that's right. We... Last Castlevania game, the theory was that they have to be spinning eternally just because the power is constantly going, and then, like, other gears will lock into place when they actually need that power to operate a thing. Mm. But then until it's operating the thing, they'll just be spinning free to because the power is there. Or you could just do that. I, I guess. 
Hector solves his problems <laughs> through violence. <laughs> I love how you're turning it in one consistent direction, no matter what direction you swing your mace. It's one of his powers as a devil forge battle. <laughs> The power of engineer, just to hit something with a wrench and it operates better. Right, I needed half plate, and half plate needed a brigand and carpet steel. That's what I didn't do. Okay, got it. Um, where was carbon steel? Ah, it's not a scythe. It's a war pick, of course. Ah, yeah. With a sharp edge. Yes. Like a pick has. Exactly. Not like a sharp point. <clears throat> different in the model. It's a lot bigger. I mean, personally, I know the term Jacknall from Final Fantasy XI. No, where it's a, a big double-handed scythe-type weapon. Anyway, the carbon steel, um... I'm not sure you were able to get more yet. Because, like, you found the one in the forest in the right. chest. There's sniper arms, right? Uh, and yeah. great arms. Where, That's the point. Where are those types of arms? There's nothing that tells you where different enemies are, is there? Not on that side, no. Nor in the game. Oh, no, of course not. Why would it give you valuable information like that in this game, which is mostly grinding? <sighs> okay, it's not mostly grinding. It's only grinding if you want to succeed. Hmm. Well, you can always gauge by levels. What level enemies are you fighting out here? 32. Okay, then you would have passed the areas that have... Oh, hey, another video games. game. That's where I get ether. That's yours. Oh. Oh.
apartment. Sounds well, better. Yeah. Heavenly sword is. See, daggers. It's uh, more than one sword. Yeah. But the heavenly part is at least accurate. Yes. Heavenly means from up. Yes. Let's go with that. Ah, here we are. No warp room. Yay! We don't need to use that right now. We're pressing onward. Right? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I see it. You see it? I see it. Right there. Yeah, yep. probably another thing that needs ability that we don't have yet. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um... I forget where we get that one. I don't think that was a mage ability. No, that's from the last type of devil. Right, right, right. Ah! Death Ripper! I'm gonna rip all your death. They you have ice cream. Soft serve. All have ice cream. It's probably dropping a lot more frequently than normal because of my rare ring. They seem to have a lot of opportunities to steal from them. Like every time they pop, they're funny. Gameplay. You play it slow down. Well, if it slows down, it goes backwards. Fortunately, it locks into place at the top. Yeah. And causes the things to stop spawning. So we've seen two machines. Well, two of the same machine. Yeah. There's this guy again. That guy who looks like he's the first boss, but actually isn't. First boss was a giant armor. This is a giant dude who wears some amount of armor. It was, however, the first monster we ever encountered. Like a... No, it's 
it's not. There is, in fact, a split point. Oh, there's more of them! Stole your vein. Another machine? This looks like some kind of engine. It does, doesn't it? Do I also have to smack this one repeatedly? Maybe not. Unless I have to smack this! No, no. Okay. Maybe for once we don't have to smack something. I love that gear that's just sticking out of the wall with nothing attached to it. Like further that, on, that, that one? That one. Yeah. It's just kind of gear out there. Okay, so jump. Is this a platform thing? No, it looks like that was a wall you can't go into. Good. Get to the other side. This or something. Do you go on the gears from this side? No. See, it distinctly does look like you're supposed to get on that conveyor belt there. And go along. It certainly does. I wonder Do you if need to like stop or something. That might be a thing. So otherwise, I was going to say maybe you need to like get onto a spot and hit like a lever and then that'll start a cutscene type thing that'll throw you on the conveyor. That's but yeah, maybe extremely possible. Maybe time stop will just remove the invisible walls. Or that. Um or violence. Yeah violence did it. Uh God what are you doing? Um Hector Why did You've made the gears go to ride that's funny, because the gears have gone awry is the name of the song. From Castlevania. So, apparently we Rube goldberg our way into the yes, correct path. Yes, accidental Rube Goldberg. And there's the result. So how would you get to this part of the castle normally, I wonder? Well, let's look around. There's, uh, there's some windows here. I suppose the inhabitants are currently ghosts. I mean, there's a door on the other end. We'll let's see if there's more paths back there.
no other entrances, just the, the stairs. And of course, without having smashed through that wall, that's just a random dead end. Yeah. Coming from it the other way. There also appears to be a boss fight. So they're done. So they're done. What do we fight this time? Story time? Hmm? Story time? <gasps> oh! An unexpected guest! So, Zed hasn't slain you yet? I see you were spying on us. But I am an expert at miraculous escapes. Despite that, however, I have fallen into his trap at last. Trap? What trap? Well, the space itself is a barrier. Which leads me to question, how did you get here? On foot, there were no barriers. Interesting. Most interesting. Yes, that is quite possible. What are you saying? Well, in this space, I may be partially freed of the fess of time. Well, that means I can have a direct physical effect here. For example, I can fight you! <coughs> so is that your intent? To stop me by force? Not exactly. By fighting you, all that I need to know will be revealed. Well then, this seems dangerous. Stop. So, naturally he has power over time. So what happens if you use time to stop? Is he just immune to it? time to make the poison hit you more. Yep. Which is actually kind of a clever yeah. thing. Good thing you have all this serum. Yeah. attacks seem to be like intentionally over choreographed like he is trying to show you the towels yeah so now he's reverse time to heal himself He has a fucking finger gun. No, that's an actual, it's an actual gun. gun. He just has a gun. Him a bit. With the help of Ian. I surrender. I promise not to interfere with you again. Very well. 
I now see how fascinating time, or rather, fate, truly is. Just who are you? A traveler. Only half here. Not allowed to speak the truth. Not allowed to act upon reality. Yet, one who knows all. That about covers it. I see. Not allowed to speak the truth. Please forget everything I have told you. A traveler merely passes through, touching nothing, changing nothing. But there is one thing I can tell you. What is that? I feel a new destiny flowing out of you. Walk the path that is meant for you without fear, for you are no longer alone. Give my regards to Zed when you see him. Okay. So that barrier just went away and he left? Seems so. I guess the barrier just wanted to watch a good fight. Don't we all? But what's this? Innocent Devil Gale appears. So what do we name this Innocent Devil Devil? Uh, looks kind of like a closet to me. It's a closet? I don't know. And it's just the first thing that comes to my mind. How do you spell closet? Q-U-A. C-I-T. I'm pretty sure that was it. Works for me. If not, then whatever. His name is now Close Zit. enough. Devil type innocent devils are incredibly quick and agile. They can also use the magic circle ability to swallow Hector, allowing them to slide along surfaces. So that's our last traversal power. Uh huh. Which we need to go certain places. A lot of places in this tower. A couple, yeah. At least one on the approach. The wizards are running from you. Necromancers. They just... It, it looked like those two necromancers completely ignored you to turn towards each other and incinerate each other. Realized. Wait, is that Greg? I hate Greg! Die, Greg! I feel the same way about Greg, to be fair. But then Hector murdered them both. My innocent devil's doing most of the work. Um, the thing about. Devils. Uh, if we take a look at his chart, he just levels up. Huh. And he doesn't have a type. Huh. They take like 200 points, yes. Yeah, yeah. But they only you know, have uh, one path of evolution. Huh. Well, it certainly simplifies things if I uh, not need to check out. Want to get and uh, yeah, it's, it's your magic circle. It does drain his hearts incredibly fast when using it, but you can't use it at any time to just become flat. Just like, nah, I don't want to deal with this fight. I'm just gonna slide past it. Is that floating? 
ring a pickup or an enemy? I believe that's a big one. It's the Earth Ring. Huh. Gotta like the Sub Zero. Yeah. Absolute Zero Ring. Other elemental rings. Yeah. But this for the element of Earth. Which. Now you can be safe against rocks. dirt. Dirt rocks. going to be more exciting than that. Well, I mean, the necromancers have to have a, a big wallet full of gold to pay off all those skeletons. Right, which we've established have paychecks and make a good deal of money. have regular paychecks. It may just be a one-time commission. It's like, do they ever spend it? I don't think so. Hmm. It's just like, hey, here's $20. $20 for you to come back from the dead. And it's just like, oh man, now I have $20. And then you just put it in their pocket and they just enjoy the fact that they have $20 until you shatter them and steal it. that are physically impossible to get to through normal means. Yep. Um, like, this whole area is bricked off from the rest of the t this tower. <laughs> well, you know how it is. You build the castle, you continue building upon it, it just gets bigger and bigger, and... Here and there, you just kind of lose some rooms. This lead us. Another room full of necromancers. 
seems to be a lot of these nowadays. Necromancers actually summon the undead? What kind of bullshit is this? Instead of just flinging fireballs at me? Yeah, it looks like they can actually cause undead enemies to spawn. They can actually necromance! Oh hey, they dropped Spirit of Fuji. Cool. Another thing that's needed for tridents. Again, tridents are very important for reasons. For reasons. Looks like the only way out of this room is through this magic circle. Or back the way I came. Yep. So, let's magic circle. It's a good thing to throw on if, like, you're all about to die and don't want to die and don't have a fairy with hearts to heal you. Yeah. Just, like, load up one of your devils that doesn't use hearts or get hit very much. Oh, that's a new enemy type. Whoa. Fight. Fight. Another in the long line of fascinatingly impossible to get to rooms. It's like I said, you know, you're an ancient vampire lord, you build this castle, you build rooms, and sometimes you just lose other rooms while you keep building out. Yeah. It's just, oh, you, you bricked over this wall to build a different room, and you didn't realize there was no other way in. And, I mean, if you need to get in there, you're a vampire. You can, like, take on a mist form and just go. Dracula just teleports everywhere and burst a flame. Yeah, that too. Like, maybe he doesn't even realize that there's no proper entrance to these rooms. And this just seems to loop back. Yep. Cool, yeah. we've 100% completed the machine tower. Yeah, it's just come in here to get a devil and fill a couple of accessories. Which leads us to the next question, of course. Where to now? Well, there had to be some places where you needed this magic circle ability. Indeed! Cordova Town is one of them. Probably earlier in the machine tower too, I think, maybe? No. Uh, 
now. It's just the one place. Yep. into moustache? Um, no, this is a proboscis fairy. Ah! They have a long nose. Ah. Which is important for reasons. But yeah, this is another path that we took fairy. Damascus steel! Mm hmm Despite the fact that Damascus Steel is known for having oxidation, which is what it causes the layers when the impurities are burned away, I'm going to resummon, I don't know. Who should I summon? I don't know. Let's go with VB. VB needs to level up. I don't know which direction I'm going to be taking VB. I don't think it matters. As far as, like, accessing places, no. No. Mages are all just fighting. Aeolon Ruins. These are level 18 bone soldiers. What, what are they doing here? What's this scrub tier bullshit? They only drop regular steel. The worst kind of steel. It's not colored at all. It's not colored. It doesn't have other metals in it. it doesn't even have carbon in it. It's just the single pure element of steel. What's the uh, what's the atomic number for steel, by the way? I mean, it's it's an <laughs> element in the classical sense. Ah, yes. Of course. You know, the, the alchemical sense, not in the, the modern sense, you see. Ah, but now we've seen the evolution of bone soldiers. Into having a mace and armor. I hope this isn't just a grinding area that I've found myself in. I mean, there is. Okay, there is this seems ah. needless. There's already a brazier there. <laughs> well, they put that there because they know that these. Small torches are flimsy and contain money for adventurers who like to smash them. Also, the ones against the wall are orange fire, and the ones in the that are smashable are purple fire. Need di diversity in flame colors, I guess. No. Our wood rod has evolved into a talon rod. So wood plus axe is talon. 
So you're not actually... The, the devil itself is just going to always be that devil. You're just changing its stick. Apparently, yeah. So is the stick the actual devil and the body is just like a puppet it controls? I think the actual devil is the crystal part. Because that's where all the hearts are. Parts that mysterious and magical substance that powers everything. Except machines. Machines don't have a heart. Yes, they just use eternal gear power. They spin endlessly without question. Possibly driven via the aqueduct. Or necromancy. Yeah, maybe there's just, like, deep below the castle, a giant gear with, like, thousands of skeletons marching and spinning it forever. Or just one really big skeleton. Or, like, 20 really big skeletons. Think of how many 20s of dollars you could get if you went down there. <laughs> thought of a really dumb joke. Oh? Would you rather fight 20 large... 20 giant skeletons or 20 skeleton giants? Well, <laughs> I would think the giant skeletons would be simpler because you're taking a regular skeleton and making it giant, so it's going to be clumsy, whereas... A skeleton giant is the skeleton of a giant, so it's already lived its life having been giant. It's used to it, so it knows how to fight as a giant. Ah. See, that, that's, uh, that's the trick. Necromancers, take note. <laughs> Don't use transmutation magics on your undeads. They'll just be less effective. Speaking of undead that are less effective, assassin zombies are back. Also, note to necromancers, don't attempt to teach your zombies a new trade. They'll just get confused and try to dig. They were probably all, like, miners. Not in a past life, just they were miners. Zombie miners. Yeah. I had zombies, that's what I'd use them for. Do jobs that people normally die in. So that way, you know, living people don't have to die. No, no, then they gotta give them these sharp murder claws and tell them you're assassins now. I don't what? want to leave. It just kind of did that on its own. Stop that! <laughs> you're not supposed to do that! <laughs> Hector! Well, at, at least the, uh, the zone isn't, like, re uh, unload and reload every time. Yeah. Just gonna... Yeah, that's another one I can just walk into. Yeah, this uh, this whole area seems to be just kind of path that you don't have to fight through if you don't want to. You can just walk on just through. Walk through. Just, uh, just, just walk through. Just breeze on past. Yeah, we don't need to Have a nice, relaxing stroll through the ruins. Ah, there we okay. Go. Now you have to fight these jinn. Flesh 
sure why there's Jin here, but... Well, I mean, their, their names aren't spelled properly, so these are like off-brand Jin. Oh. oh, there's more of them. They, they need to be properly licensed to put the D in the name. So these are just Jin. I think I need to take this opportunity. Apparently I have a sunny side up egg. You're not gonna eat any of this food? Why would I? Just got it carrying around forever. Yeah. Have you known me to eat food? Well, I guess that's true. Have you ever seen me eat food? How do you know I don't? This is why we don't have face cams for these streams, because we need to protect our secrets. Or not food eating secrets. Still can't afford the uh, gold heal. No, no, that's too expensive. These guys have really good skills. Gotcha. What if they just don't have steel at all? Everything has steel. Even bosses have steel. Even the bosses that we were not able to steal from because we didn't have steel had steel. By the way, that's what I meant was they probably have good stuff to steal. Not that they have a particular brand of steel that is superior. But what if you can steal steel from them? Well, then I can steal steel that is... St st Shut up. Put spikes on a dog. Oh no! So now they can shoot lasers! <laughs> They're undead demon dogs with spikes that shoot lasers when they bark. Got a new double shard. I could make it a fairy if I wanted. They have red steel. I think I like them better than the skeleton dogs because they don't vaporize into shadow. Yeah, those are annoying. Continue onward. Uh, 
So apparently from those thunder demons you can steal lightning stones. Sounds useful. Uh, in order to get the steel prompt, you need to stun them with an aerial combo. Like, knock them back, basically. Like that. I don't know why I keep checking the map when everything's just a hallway. Uh oh! Remember these guys? This guy can have, uh. Or no, that's Rapid Sniper. You need Orc Sniper to get the. Ooh, ceramic! What I can make with ceramics. Concept of ceramics. I I would imagine nothing stronger than metal. Ceramic is brittle. But if I have a Nodachi and a Claymore. Uh, uh, okay. We get a dragon killer. Okay. Which sounds impressive. Oh, you can make a try. Is that this? This is. No, that was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I have a trident. Okay. Right. Um, what did you need next? Yeah, thing. that's the question that I have. I needed like some kind of uh, thing, a versatile spear. Flogiston. That was the thing that you needed. Flogiston. Flogiston. Okay. And that you are still not going to get for a little while, I believe. So my iron glove, you know the one that was hollow, has now evolved into this using red steel. Ah, you actually can get Flogiston. Um, you might have been able to get it pre uh, in the previous area, actually. they You can steal it from Flame Demons. Ah. Let's see what this sell at. Plus Damascus and red steel. Burgonet! Is that better than my current armor? Uh, we only find out now. Slightly! Offers extra protection. Because the cheap guards. As opposed to, you know, my current hat, which is a full helm. Yeah, that, that doesn't have cheek guards. It doesn't. Field armor. You needed a brigandine carbon. All right. Is field armor better than it is? Okay. My attack and defense are now eighty-one, and I'm pointing the right direction. Still on a one-way path. Ow, 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 ow. Like, what do you steal from those rapid snipers? Just money. Okay. Drops are at so. 
waited all this time for you to do a cool tag. The undead lords have as much money as a necromancer. Or a rapid sniper. Uh, how long have we been going for? Uh, oh, we've just hit an hour. Oh, perfect. There's a save point right here. How convenient. So, we'll save our game and uh, call it here for the night. We finished the tower, we beat up a uh, time traveling man. Time traveling fop? Yeah. We didn't learn anything new from him. Not a damn thing. Even though his face went, you know, 50% transparent and scrolled across the screen while saying, a new destiny awaits you. Like he was out of some kind of Soul Calibur game. I mean, we don't know what the old destiny might have been, so... Yeah, right? Uh... So I don't think... I don't think anything's really changed, actually. Certainly not from our perspective. Well, good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>